This is my farewell to Shea, my so long Shea Stadium. I've been coming here 34 years, since 1974. Sat up there in my first game in the mezzanine, so I've come full circle. So they won 5-2 that night, or that afternoon. It was a Saturday afternoon. They won 6-2 today. Johan Santana pitched a gem. Seaver pitch and Milner play first and Dale Unser play center and Leon play second. Sat way down there on seat cushion night in the 70s. I think you know, Ellis Valentine may have gotten traded to the Mets on that day. I was there with Richie McGraw and Richie Frazier who passed away on 9 11. Um, what else? Oh, I saw a few football games here. I saw the uh, I saw the Jets play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their first game. Jets beat then I saw Mark Gastineau and Joe Klecko and the New York Jets in the second game beat the, state, the LA Rams and Gastineau threw, threw a temper tantrum on the field. So that was the 70s. That was, that was football. Um, then we had um, so Eric Clapton and, and, um, and El John play here and the stadium bounced. the Diamondbacks first game here. Kevin started coming to games with me. We sat over there. We got to see his first John Oldenburg game. And then I was here in like, you know, around 2000 when they were always getting beat by the Braves. I wasn't here for the uh, Piazza game because I was at Yankee Stadium. But there were other great memories here all throughout here. Many years. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Jose, David Wright, we sat down there, we were here for David Wright's first game. Um, okay, so, 34 years, came full circle. These two seats right here, these two seats right here are going to be our seats. They're going to be my permanent memory of Shea Stadium. So, I will always have these. So, I'd like to say, you know, thank you to Bill Shea for bringing the New York Mets to New York and I'm looking forward to being over in 
City Field next year when they're hopefully raising the banner for the 2008 World Champion New York Mets. Peace.